Hello guys, my name is Brogan McCantom and in this video I'll be showing you how to get and maintain an awesome KD in Assassin's Creed Revelations Online. Now you're going to want to go into Artifact Assault because if you stay in your half you can't die, literally can't die. So if you just stay in your half you'll get an amazing KD and I've just shown you my stats here, my KD is 4.56, it would be a lot better but I didn't start using this method until a little way into playing online so initially I played game modes like, uh, like Manhunt and got a lot of deaths so until I found Artifact Assault and the ability to not die at all if you just stay in your half and get a lot of kills because they will keep on attacking you and you'll be able to get a lot of kills now this is the loadout I use for my Artifact Assault games. I use a tripwire bomb to obviously catch the Artifact Thieves and just plant those tripwire bombs around our Artifact and throw a nice to catch up to anyone that is getting away. Hot Pursuit helps you run after people quicker which is obviously good and overall cooldowns just reduces my, well, cooldowns. Now here's a few of my leaderboards there I got 9 kills to 0 deaths there I got 10 to 1, I wouldn't usually get 1 death there I got 8 to 0 and in an absolutely spectacular game I got 22 kills to 1 death that's a game I actually uploaded to my channel if you want to check that out go onto my channel and find it now here are a few of my kills using the tripwire bombs and the throwing knives just showing you my techniques within the games. This tripwire bomb was actually quite lucky, it was right at the end of the game. I, I just threw it down and as soon as I did that someone jumped over my head who I thought was on my team actually, I don't know why I thought that, and I tried to steal a artifact but ran straight into that tripwire bomb which I just placed and I jumped on the head and well, owned her basically. Now here come some throwing knife kills. There, that enemy had just jumped off the roof after stunning my friend there and I thrown knifed him in midair. When he came back down to earth, he was boned. Yeah, this guy was just squatting, just chilling on this beam for some reason. I don't know why he was sitting there. So I just threw a knife at him, fell straight off and straight on top of him. Here's another one. This one was actually in midair. I threw the knife at her in midair and then dumped on top of her. That's a good use of throwing knives. Throwing knives can be used anytime when you're running after someone or if they're in midair and you just want to slow them down from jumping around everywhere. Just lob a throwing knife at them and they're basically screwed. This one was pretty spectacular. <laughs> Tried to do an eagle dive into the hay bale and I lobbed a knife at her and as soon as she got out she was stunned and couldn't move so I just took her down. Now that's the end of this video, I'll just leave you with my stats and hopefully if you follow this guide, play Artifact Assault, stay in your half and just defend your artifact, you'll have a statistic screen, something a little bit like this or even a lot better. Hope this helped guys, please do like this video, comment, favourite it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Brogan McCanton, signing out.